thank, thank you, Minister Wilson, for that kind introduction. And thank you to McKinney Ma, Chief Roy Fox, for the opening blessing and for starting us off in a good way. And thanks as well to TC Energy for hosting us as we take an historic step forward together. For far too long, Indigenous peoples were kept to the outsides of society and denied a fair share in Alberta's prosperity. Despite a desire to benefit from the resources located on their traditional lands, Indigenous communities have sometimes been shut out from participating in our resource economy, either by politicians or advocacy groups who claim to speak on their behalf or pretended to have their best interests at heart. Addressing these injustices is essential to reconciliation, but any solutions must be built on more than just words and wishes. They must include Indigenous peoples in the economy and at the ownership table, sitting as partners in projects and assets that create wealth and opportunity for generations to come. To enable that, our government has adopted a practical approach by creating the Alberta Indigenous Opportunities Corporation, the first organization of its kind in Canada to provide loan guarantees for Indigenous communities to purchase equity in high-value money-making projects, including resource projects. The AIOC is designed to be a game-changer for economic reconciliation. It's about ensuring Indigenous peoples are active at every level of the economy as owners, workers and partners, and it's working. In its first four years, the AIOC has provided more than 680 million in loan guarantees to 42 Indigenous communities. And we recently tripled the AIOC's loan guarantee capacity to $3 billion so that even more opportunities can be pursued. And we did so because even though vocal interests claim to be speaking for all Indigenous communities, we know from our many ongoing efforts that many communities support our energy industry and want to be part of its future. They want to partner with it. They view it as a path to jobs for their children and generational prosperity for their communities. The AIOC and its loan guarantees help make that partnership with the energy industry happen. It is a successful Alberta-made solution that other provinces and the federal government are beginning to emulate. And I'm happy to confirm that we're putting this extra capacity to good use. Thanks to a $1 billion loan uh, backstop, the AIOC is driving the single largest Indigenous equity transaction ever undertaken in Canada. Pending the work in the upcoming weeks, it will involve multiple Indigenous communities purchasing an equity stake in the critical NGTL system and Foothills pipeline assets from TC Energy. We're talking about the heartbeat of Alberta's natural gas industry, receiving and moving 75% of all natural gas from our world-class Western Canada sedimentary basin. It's a network of 25,000 kilometers of pipe that delivers gas to commercial, residential and industrial consumers all over the province, not to mention its role in supplying gas to the Canadian mainline, which delivers fuel to millions of Canadians across the country. Owning part of this premier energy asset will create significant new revenue streams for every single community that signs on. And we expect a lot of them to do so. An unprecedented number of Indigenous communities from Alberta, Saskatchewan and British Columbia have already expressed their interest in being a part of this partnership. This is a clear demonstration that many Indigenous people support our energy industry and want to be part of it. Once it's finalized, it will bring each of these communities tremendous benefits that will last for generations. They will enjoy financial returns that they can use to deliver a great quality of life to all of their members. They will also become part owners of the infrastructure that is so critical to the continent's energy security. After a long history of exclusion, they're moving straight to the heart of Alberta's economy. And I want to thank all of the partners involved in this project for working tirelessly to hammer out the details and for delivering incredibly positive results. This is reconciliation, action, and I'm proud that Alberta is leading the way. I hope that the rest of Canada follows suit and does just as much to open up the resource industry to ind Indigenous peoples. We all depend on it, and we should all share in its jobs, growth, and the returns it provides.